OK, so let's say I want to differentiate each of these using the chain rule. Now, obviously, before we continue, you're going to need to know how to differentiate sine, cos, e, um, tan, and ln as well, natural logarithm. So you need to have that under your belt before you tackle these. So first up, number one, we have sine of 8x, OK? So the u here is the 8x. That's the function that's inside. So the derivative of the inside comes outside. That's your 8. Now, with all the others that we were looking at in the previous video, we had the power coming down to the front, take one off the power, because that's how we differentiate a polynomial. If we differentiate sine, we know that differentiates to cosine. So we'll have 8 lots of cosine of u, the 8x. So this is 8 cosine 8x. OK? And you can show that using the long winded approach as well, showing all the steps. Now, number 2, y equals cosine of x squared. So the x squared is the u, so the derivative of what's inside comes outside, so that's 2x. Now, cosine differentiates to minus sine, so minus sine of the x squared, the u, OK? The g of x. So here's your g prime, the 2x. Here's your f prime, the minus sine. The g of x is the x squared. So simplifying, minus 2x sine of x squared. OK? So that's your answer to number 2. Number 3, we have y equals e to the 3x squared plus 5. Now, the 3x squared plus 5, that's the u. That's the, the uh, g of x in this case. So the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So 3x squared plus 5 differentiates to 6x. And now we need to think about the derivative of e to the x. Well, that's just e. So that just differentiates to itself. So it's e. Uh, so that's your f differentiating to f prime. And what goes inside is that g of x, the 3x squared plus 5. So what you're looking at when you're differentiating e to the power of a function of x is that the derivative of that function of x comes down to the front and it sticks in front of the e to the 3x squared plus 5, or to e to the f of x. OK? Right. So y equals e to the square root of x. So e to the x to the half. So dy by dx, the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So 1 half x to the minus a half. Then you've got e to the x to the half, because the derivative of e is just e. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Or e to the u is e to the u, if you want to think about it that way. So that is the derivative of that. y equals e to the cosine of 3x. The derivative of what's inside comes outside. So sine 8x became 8 cosine 8 of x. So cosine of 3x will become minus 3 sine of 3x. So minus 3 sine 3x is the derivative of cosine of 3x. e to the u differentiates to e to the u, so it's e to the cosine of 3x. So minus 3 sine of 3x times e to the cos of 3x, cosine of 3x. OK, now that's number 5. Number 6, y equals sine of tan x. So the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. That is the derivative of the u. So sec squared x is the derivative coming out to the front. Sine, we know, differentiates to cosine. So of tan x. 
Okay, so that's number six. So last but not least, we have y equals the natural log of 4x cubed minus 7x plus 8. The 4x cubed minus 7x plus 8 is the u, the g of x, if you will. The derivative of that comes outside. So that would be 12x squared, take away 7. OK. Now the natural log differentiates to, well, natural log of u differentiates to 1 over u. So that's 1 over u, the 4x cubed minus 7x plus 8. And so what you get is 12x squared minus 7 over 4x cubed minus 7x plus 8. So when you're differentiating ln of a function of x, so y equals ln function of x, then dy by dx, the function of x is the denominator, the numerator is the derivative of the function of x. And so we just get the 12x squared minus 7, the derivative of what's inside the bracket on the top of the fraction, and the bottom of the fraction is your original g of x.